Published, 1802 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 9th of June 2018. Updated, 510 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 10th of June 2018. Chief Executive Jeanette Bell is the second woman to take the helm of the 974 pounds million on a grey morning in Dover. The spirit of Britain is setting out from the White Cliffs to Calais. One of five round trips the 47,000 ton Super Ferry will make that day, transporting 2,000 passengers and 180 freight lorries on each crossing. But there's a storm cloud on the horizon, Brexit. The biggest unknown for shipping and logistics firm P. It is no trivial matter for the company and its new chief executive Jeanette Bell, the second woman to take the helm of the £974 million business moving people and freight between the UK and Europe. French and Belgian port bosses told the Treasury Select Committee last week that the clock is ticking on Brexit and warned that Britain could become nothing more than a series of roadblocks. Despite the confusion over Britain's customs union status and the Northern Ireland border, Bell is calm when she sets out her plans at the firm's channel house HQ. I am confident that despite the current uncertainty, common sense will prevail, she says, p. We already have plans underway to integrate customs clearance into our systems, what Bell doesn't say, but is made clear on the company website, is that p. Context of almost 200 years of its history, p. ABBA revival nights and darts on the overnight ferries from Hull to Zeebrugge and Rotterdam are being phased out in favor of sea bass and Chablis served in brasseries. When you step on board, you can sit on the back deck sipping an iced beer as you cruise down the Humber River, before stepping into the brasserie for sea bass and a glass of Chablis. Bell's vision of cruising by Hull at sunset may not be everyone's idea of sophistication. But she says, there is a growth in premium leisure travel. It is not about products anymore, it's about experiences. People travel by ferry because you get to places you just don't reach when you travel by aeroplane, French and Belgian port bosses told the Treasury Select Committee last week that, the clock is ticking, on Brexit. The ships will last for 30 years so their design has to look to the future, Bell says. We are considering driverless lorries maneuvering on and off our ships, she adds that changes in technology, such as artificial intelligence and 3D printing, will also change the mix of goods that p. There is a whole melting pot of trends that are coming together, despite her outward calm over Brexit, p. Faced with the threat of tailbacks at ports due to increased customs checks, a number of shipping firms have laid plans to bypass Brexit Britain by transporting freight straight from Ireland to continental Europe. P. Bell says, We have a fantastic position in Zeebrugge, Europort and Calais, the key export ports from Northwest Europe, and ports in Liverpool, Dublin, Hull, Scotland and Northern Ireland. P. In recent years, it has battled competition from the opening of the high-speed Eurotunnel and low-cost airlines, which it blamed for 1,200 job cuts and the closure of its Portsmouth routes. In 2015, there was cross-channel chaos at Calais, when strikes and the migrant crisis brought the French port to a standstill for three days, this business has ridden the tide of the onslaught of low-cost airlines, it's had competitors open on the tunnel, it has seen the demise of duty-free goods, says Bell. We are a business that has to look forward. Whether it be Brexit or changes in technology, we need to draw on our experience of how to solve problems. Each year, its fleet of 21 ships transports 8.4 million passengers and 2.3 million freight units. Bell, 53, is a biochemist by training. Married to Peter, she has two children, Edward, 21, and 17-year-old Constance. She started her career on the graduate trainee scheme at Tesco, then under the leadership of Lord Ian McLaurin, before a spell at Consultancy Coopers. She joined P. Six months in, she is using her varied experience to piece the jigsaw together as P. Each year, its fleet of 21 ships, connected to a vast truck and rail network through P. 
goods made by manufacturing giants such as Unilever, IKEA and Jaguar Land Rover come by rail and road from Romania, Poland and Italy to huge depots in Rotterdam and Zeebrugge and then cross the North Sea on P. Freitas P. Back in 1910, P. More than three decades after his deadline, it's still full steam ahead. P. The company first floundered in 1837, when it almost lost its lucrative government contracts shipping mail to the Far East. It was back on an even keel by the Edwardian era, but then two-thirds of its fleet was commandeered by the British Army in the First World War. Post-war recovery was slow, then the Wall Street crash devastated world trade. Shortly after P. As the empire disintegrated, post-war P. Boardroom battles rocked the boat in the 1970s, when director Lord Inchcape challenged the firm's plans to buy Bovis Homes and eventually installed himself as chairman. After making half the board walk the plank, he bought the house builder anyway. In 1987, 193 lives were lost when the Herald of Free Enterprise capsized leaving Sabruga. Today, having weathered the rise of low-cost airlines and the opening of rival transport link Eurotunnel, P.